Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 10.9. So it is given that determine the critical load of an aluminium tube that is 1.5 meter long and has 16 millimeter outer diameter and 1.25 wall thickness. Use E is equal to 70 giga pascal. So first we will write given data. In given data it is given that it is an aluminium tube. So aluminium tube having length is equal to 1.5 meter long outer diameter is 16 millimeter so d naught is equal to 16 millimeter so radius r naught will be equal to 16 divided by 2 which is equal to 8 millimeter also the thickness of the tube t is given as 1.25 millimeter and E is equal to 70 Giga Pascal. So in what we have to find is to find the critical load P critical. So let's start with the solution. So as it is given that this is the cross sectional uh, cross section of aluminium tube and this tube is 1.5 millimeter long clear and that is acted upon by a centric axial load and we have to find this p critical so you can see that diameter is given and which is outer diameter is 16 millimeter so from here you can see if this is the center point so this will be R naught clear and this will be the R I clear and this is the thickness of the tube. So from this we can conclude that uh, this thickness is equal to R naught minus R I. So this thickness is equal to R naught minus R I. So we can find the inner radius which is Ri. So inner radius will be equal to R0 minus T. So you can put the value 8 minus 1.25. So R inner will be equal to 6.75 millimeter. As we are going to find out P critical load for this centric load. So this P critical as we know that this is equal to pi square E I over L square. Here I will suggest to write the formulas for the thing which you are going to find. So then start solving it. So from this formula we have this E we have L we do not have I. And we know that I for this hollow tube is equal to pi by 4, uh, pi by 4 or not 4 minus R I 4. So for we have R not we, we, we have not R I and for this purpose we first find the value of R I. Now you have all the values, you can put it in the formula. So this is pi by 4 and this will be R0 and R0 is 8. So 8 power 4 minus 6.75 power 4. So when you solve this, this will be equal to 1.586 into 10 raised to power 3 mm 4 or if you want to convert it into meter we will convert it because we will find out the p in term of newton so i will be equal to 1.8586 into 10 raised to power minus uh, sorry uh, 10 raised to power minus uh, if you remove this m this will be 10 raised to power minus 12 because this is power 4 so minus 12 plus 3 
which is equal to minus 9 and that will be converted into meter. Now you have I value, you can put it in the formula of critical loading. So P critical is equal to, you have now this value as well. So pi square pi is 3.14 into E is 70 gigapascal. You can see, so 70 into 10 to power 9 pascal and I is this one. So 1.56. 586 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by L square and L is 1.5 meter so 1.5 whole square so when you solve it you will get the value of P critical and P critical will be equal to 487 Newton this is a very easy and simple problem I hope now you have a clear idea about how to find critical loading for a hollow tube. Thank you for watching the videos.